Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, everybody? Discord noises. <clears throat> Hearing stuff happening. Speaking of GIF. Excuse me. Doing this again? Hello. Uh, hello. 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 Ah, hello. Yeah, hello. What's, what's going on, man? Uh, I need to make you a little louder. Oh god, right, this Discord bullshit thing where I need to put you at 200%. Okay, hold up. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's better. Very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Huh. So today we're TV stars, right? Yes, indeed. Okay. Trying to get things I need to click on. That one. Let's see. Uh, yes. All right, get all that shit thrown to the side. Uh, this is episode two, Situation Comedy. Well, what's the name of episode one, anyways? Culture Shock. Culture Shock, okay. Uh, audio. Oh, yeah. Audio. There we go.
going to turn warp drive on this time. Have we talked about what warp drive does? I I don't know what it does. Ah, so we haven't gotten to any conclusions. Right. Ah. New game. But confirmed. <clears throat> confirmed that I want to start a new game for like the fifth time. Are you sure you want to play this game specifically? Not any other game. New game of this game. It's like in Borderlands pre sequel when I selected Claptrap. Mm, it's right. like, hold on, you you selected Claptrap. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Are you really sure there's that thing with the explosions? And it, you, you really want to play a Claptrap? Okay, this is your last chance to not play as a Claptrap. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciated that. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially since you were like, like weeks before we even started playing that, you were already like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play Claptrap." Never a question. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh shit! So, Mexican stand up here. Got the onion gun. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Dang. Again. You'll never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller, Gavin McCloud, Wake Martindale. Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra, as in America's mom, the woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut. Surely you guess. <coughs> She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away. We're at our earliest convenience. Great, I think it's this supposed to remind me of Alpha? My so called life. Uh, yes. Okay, <laughs> good. <clears throat> um, inventory empty. Well, we have two guns big gun, tear gas grenade launcher, <laughs> right. Yeah, salad shooter. Mm. And gun. There's Great. donut box. Um, These donuts must be three months old. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little I remember that from last. Science? Mm -hmm. Anything in the closet where we used to sort the cheese? There's a TV. Welcome back, America. There oh. she is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you were all thrilled when I gave you cars, then all expense paid vacations, and then all the payment centers, but now, after I worked so hard and sacrificed so much, you'd rather sleep. It's all about you, isn't it? I guess nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. Maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer. Someday. That's more like it. You see? There's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a slouch Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well adjusted. <laughs> well, alright, that's that's Myra. Nice. Yeah, that that definitely that gives you awesome Oprah vibes. It's Jesse James. Closet fan. door. Closet door. We took Brady Culture's hey, hair. Nope, yeah. that's we took Brady Culture's hair. Well, what about the cheese? Where did that go? Can we pick that up? Cheese is long gone. Yeah. We've either eaten it or cultures hair. used it, it for puzzles. It's an unwieldy but mm. oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Alright. So yeah, this is going to be our trophy closet. It's going to have right. 
something from mm -hmm. each previous game. Are we just gonna take each bad guy's hair? <laughs> I'm. I mean, with Brady culture, it was a special case because it's a giant afro. I mean, that lady had some interesting hair too. Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> well, anyways, I let's, like your line let's of talk thinking. to the rats. Let's talk to the rats. Rat. Anybody home? Guess not. There. Yes, well, let's let's leave the leave the place. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Mr. Spatula is looking good today. Isn't he plastic? Mr. Spatula? Plastic? They, na what? they named the. They have a goldfish in their water cooler. We can't really see him. Yeah, I know. I know that there's a goldfish. That's a. Oh uh, well, then yeah. He says that he's out of plastic. His name is Mr. Spatula. Lush vegetation. Get out of my way. Answering machine. Oh, you'll like this one. Again. Sam, come on! I have to pee! And the PTA is here! And they're carrying signs! <laughs> well... Hey Sam, it's me again. I found a way to solve all three of my problems. <laughs> but I'm going to be needing bail. <laughs> I, I, I figured it would... Turn out to be something along those lines. Oh, oh of course. That's oh, just the humor of, of this game. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Got rid of the uh, well. Brady Culture spray paint. Mm -hmm. which is nice. This was at my favorite convenience store. Alien love triangle. Alien times. love triangle. What? Is that a, is that a newspaper? Right. Alien love triangle times. Looks like they're sold out. Of course. Of course they do. Has been Brady culture behind bars. He finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. Huh. What's in the gumball machine? Hold on, last last time it was baked beans. Yep. And he asked how do they how did they stay fresh? And the answer is mm -hmm. they don't. Ah. It looks like candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. I've had worse. Fish tank gravel. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. We could use that for our little goldfish. He enjoys that. He might be good to go. He does have a castle. What ho, Samuel? Oh, Maximilian. that's right. Uh, what the? You're probably wondering how I do your name. Not really. Psst. It's me, Basco. Yeah, I figured that much. Quite this guy's. <laughs> no wait, wait. Um, <laughs> let's put him under arrest again. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heaven! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. What the <laughs> devil? Surely you can. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. You piss off, Piffer, piss off! <laughs> Why the disguise? What's with the slanted suit strainer, Bosco? Bosco, I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom the Third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not <laughs> sure, Max, but I think it might be English. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, why the disguise? No, really. What made you convert to British? It's because everybody's got it in for me, that's why! Yeah, we heard. Because everybody's got it in for me, that's why! Oh, they'll never find me now! 
they wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever dogs. <laughs> oh man. He's got it in for you now. Well, you just said that everybody. The six forces of evil are bedeviling you this time. It's the skin bodies, man. They're after me. Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh no. The skin bodies are like skinheads, but ten times worse. Sure, they're not a hundred <laughs> times worse? Yeah, maybe a hundred times. Maybe a million. Okay. What are, those, what are the skin bodies doing? These skin bodies. What exactly are they doing to you? They're stealing my, I mean, pinching my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. Yeah, that's obvious. Of course. What happened to Beats Heads? We want to buy something. Who's Beats Heads? Uh, that was the Bosco Tech automated. <laughs> automated ah, defense, defense system. system. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Not to be rude, but why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? <laughs> so, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from b -Tay. Meaning nothing stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. Dash it all! I knew I forgot something! <laughs> I knew I forgot right. something. Let's let's leave that let's leave that conversation. Thanks, Bosco. Pip pip, honey nut cherry. Can we just steal the shaving cream then? I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow is clear to your ankles. Ah. Mm. Pig, dog, I don't, pig, dog. I don't know why I was imagining a human fully shaved, but that's a lot better. Alright, so that's the oh, thing we can do at some point. Let's let's chase them. What do you think of Bosco's accent? Please, even Hugh Grant does a better British accent than Bosco. <laughs> wow. Dang. Let's do some shopping. The shade at some of these actors, man. Uh... It's it's the episode for them to do it. Mm-hmm. What are the flavors? Sludgies. This week's flavors: bangers and mash. That's mm -hmm. sausages and potatoes for you yet. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was something disgusting. Three <laughs> right. Yankees. Get out of there. Well. Well, I want to go and chase the skinheads. Skin bodies. Skin, skin bodies. There we go. That are ten times worse than skinheads. And they're in a very tiny little car. Mm-hmm. See, there they go. Yeah. Where are we going, Sam? Hey. <laughs> does that guy have a gun? He does. Yes. And that right. gun is as big as he is. After those rats. After those rats. After those rats. You got this. I think it's just we get we either gotta get real close to him first, and then I shoot him, or I just shoot him. Try to not get shot while doing so. But we get the cool chase music here. Little buddy. 
Oh wait, I remember this now. Yeah? Yeah, it's it's a little bit more puzzly than just shooting at times. Do you gotta guide them into an obstacle? Like shoot to the right of them and then they loop over into an obstacle? That was like right in there. No. More. Yeah. Okay, more to the left. So I need to hit him right before that barrel. There we go. Ah, there you go. Nice. Mmm. Woo! Shave it. Okay. I'm trying to remember if there's a driving segment in each game. There might be. Alright. We got shaving cream, so let's... Don't know why we got shaving cream, but let's just actually try to solve the case. So... Go to... Where we going, Sam? TV studio? To TV studio, yeah, I guess. The TV studio. Goody! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. WARP. Television so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> All right. All right. What is there to interact with on the screen? There's a cannon. The cannon, of course. Can we put Max into cannon? I hope that's just a prompt. I hope it isn't. Very See? Nobody. He wants to. And the cannon. Ah. Oh. I hope that's just a <laughs> All right. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have Max in our inventory like we did in That the, was so good in the in that like point and click in the in the hit and hit the rope game. Mm -hmm. Like use Max on can and just works. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh yeah. Yikes. That was that was a yikes. Wow. Alright, who is this woman? Director, okay. Nothing passed. There's an apple crate. Apple crate? Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. No. Let's talk to Derek here. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. <laughs> Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could I fool? Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my... They're really lashing out here. <laughs> don't look at me. Next? Who's next? We are police. You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys. But I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. Alright. Thing for Myra. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, anyhow? 
What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. <laughs> You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two Ooh. main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom startup will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, we're gonna audition here. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You wanna audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic <laughs> boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me. And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. <laughs> okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit! Um... Grrr. No! Dig deep! You should be just... frothing mad! Hmm... I feel like we need to use the shaving cream here. Cut! What did you see? I don't know. You look... Come back. Damn it. Hello again? Yes? Apparently misclicked. Can we take another crack at that audition? Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me rabbit. So I need to very carefully click inventory box. And then shaving cream. And then myself. Yeah. Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who zip it. Okay, Max, you've just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad, you're despondent, you're grief stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a natural Botox reserve. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh, the onion gun? We only have three things in our inventory. Mm-hmm. Splat. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Real gun? Uh-oh. Oh, God. <laughs> well, we're dead. <laughs> Dang. Oh, wait, Idiot. we're good. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Front. Bravo! Such Brilliant good. time to uh, bring that up. I was convinced mm -hmm. you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effect? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! Head to the second floor and immediately let's hurry Sam we only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left all right let's let's go get out of here all right people let's get the stage set up the celebrity host will be here any minute oh right the crew's working on Myra. stupid mouth talent fat face <laughs> dang <laughs> Now she's a cameraman? I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. <laughs> I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? 
Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboy, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. As you would have. You see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of side gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to add uh. to the show. Ad lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. Globe Theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script and it's really important to work it in because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! <laughs> all right, Max. Your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. Well, let's start taping. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! This moment they had in a cow. Open up in there! I know right. you're hiding a Okay, what do we have here? In he this we're hiding a cow. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to hide the cow. This, this so I need to interact cow. with something. Yeah, I, I see the cow. Thank hey, you. Bossy. Did the cow poop on the floor? There is a cow pie hey. on the mm -hmm. floor. Okay, yes. can we pick that up? I don't think he wants to touch it, but... I don't care Open if it is there. just a prop. I know I'm not you're touching that with cow. my bare hands. Alright, what else? Television. Hey! How convenient. This way we can shoot a TV show about people Open watching up. a TV show. And if mm. the show they're watching is the show of themselves Open watching, the universe could fold in on itself and explode! Best leave it turned off, then. Hey! I don't think it actually works that way, but you know. Have you, that's the same thing as Google and Google, just okay, you so don't do that. Open show up, door. I know you're hiding a cow! A lampshade, there's a plate. Can we, can we grab lampshade and, pay, and play it? Oh god, I got an idea. Can we um can we dress up the uh the cow as a lamb? Like use lampshade on cow. Open up Lampshade on a cow. Open up in there. I know you're hiding oh, god. Go. Life of the party. Life of well, the party. Oh, okay. oh he busted in. There he is. It's a it's a ch chicken. I know you got us. Well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Uh, our chef, obviously. A cow wearing a lampshade. Abraham Lincoln, <laughs> Prince of Upper Thrombosis. Oh. Chef. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck all around. <laughs> And I like knowing extra oh, A French chef, eh? I love French bread and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army day. Army day. Cut these laugh tries. Uh -huh. Okay, do we just... Um... Oh god, uh-huh. Um, can we use... Uh, <laughs> I kinda of know where this is going and I don't like it. Can we use the plate on the cow pie? I need to... I like the screen. Oh gee. Yeah, of course this is where this is going, for fuck's sake. Uh, mm -hmm. This is why it's chicken. Say, mm -hmm. what's that? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that you said? 
Uh, moo, moot, French tone poem, moo gai pan, a delicious food. Let's go with the last option. He said moo gai pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. <laughs> French. Uh -huh. Super. I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong. So. Yes. Thank you, Sam. Mm, interesting. That's one way for it. Mm, there's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. What's it called in English? Chow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like... Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Okay, that line worked well in that context. You did it. Excellent. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my new. <laughs> Don't call me for at least an hour. <laughs> that nice voice changed me. Uh -huh. <laughs> for your real. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. <laughs> we did it. Yay. Do we... Now what, do we just go to the next stage? To the cooking show? There's a wall. Do we just work our way to Oprah? I like how this is the click box for the TV camera. Mm -hmm. It's just really important. Cooking without looking. Oh. That. Oh. Uh. What's the story with this show? How are you always everywhere before us? How do you keep it so clean in here? How do you keep it so clean in here? That's like a How do you keep it so clean in here? The complete absence of anything resembling food is helpful. Oh. Mm, good point. Cooking Aren't any fruits or vegetables around here? <laughs> Cooking show without a single scrap of food anywhere to be found. Aren't there fruits or vegetables of any sort around here? Just the crew. <laughs> I never get tired. Aww. Okay, actually, no. We strive for realism, and the average bachelor kitchen doesn't contain any natural plant life except mold. I feel personally attacked. Yeah, a little um, bit. But. Mm -hmm. I can't <laughs> really say too much to the contrary. <laughs> I mean, my, my fridge is drinks and condiments <laughs> anything else like resembling actual food has long since been eaten yeah i i uh, honestly same i can't even contradict that i need to buy groceries tomorrow because i have no food left uh-huh yeah <laughs> actually no i have a i have a half a sack of potatoes and two onions Th and that that's definitely plant life i have stuff in my freezer but that's all meat-based stuff. Hmm. Well, alright, before it gets any more depressing, <laughs> what's the story with this show? What's the story with this show? Cooking Without Looking? It's a cooking show aimed at motorhead bachelors who have never seen the inside of a grocery store. Is there a big demand for that? You'd be amazed. Where's the host? Where's the host? Is he in watching the Myra show? No, he's one of the few who isn't. He got food poisoning while he was taping last week's show. Right in the middle, in fact. Was it gruesome? Yes, and unfortunately, this show goes out live. Uh, <laughs> can we get a tape of the show? Can we get a tape of the show? This one? No, it's broadcast live. We don't tape it. Okay. Okay, well, uh, how are you always everywhere before us? How do you do that teleportation trick where you're always everywhere ahead of us? Trade secret, honey. Trade secret. <laughs> Got him. All right. 
See ya. See ya. Probably. Oh, what is in this room? There's a fridge. That's probably gonna be empty. This fridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. Oh, huh. it's just like a refrigerator door that's been propped up against mm. the box. There's a bucket. Oh, lard. What is lard? That's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis. Hmm. We're starting a circus of grease squirrels. I rue the day you lost. I'll, I'll give it. It's like Max. That's a. It's like cooked down animal fat. Um. Used for for further cooking. Dangerous implements. Think of it. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I followed that word. All right. Mm -hmm. There's a pot and a pan and a plate. And ingredients. That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. Ovens. Oven? This is quality also fix. Like that animatronic kid on the Cosby show. This is quite realistic. Like that in Okay. Uh trash bin? Oh wait, cooler. I think this is one of those cooler things they use on medical shows to transport donor spleens. What's yeah. he doing on the set of a cooking show? Some knowledge is better left unclaimed. <laughs> okay. There's a bowl. Well, there's a bucket under the sink. There's, there's Max. Can we grab any of the pans? Grab a pan. Welcome oh. to Cooking Without Looking, okay. the cooking show for the typical um. bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, uh, hello, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got Let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? What are we making? We're making a casserole, a cake, a chilled summer foie gras soup with goat yogurt. Yes. All right. Well, that's all we have time for. <laughs> no. Nope. No. Nope. Bye, adoring public. Soon I will demand tribute. Click on the pot. Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? All right. Uh, yeah, option. Yeah. A bunch of gunk in a dish. What? We'll take <laughs> some ingredients from the ingredient rack and add it to what we professionals call the yummying pot. Isn't that a pot? Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummying pot. The yummying hod. Whatever. Feel like. All right. Squid tentacles, wombat secretions, buffalo chips, sulfuric acid, hair gel, MSG, uh, roofing tile shards, pink mink oil, <laughs> tweed, uranium pellets, uh, dried dinko kidneys. What the fuck's a dinko? I have no idea. Okay. Asbestos sprinkles, more lard, monk paste, and red dye number two. Um, I, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Let's do the uranium, the, the, the lard, and... No more oh. Dash of uranium they also go great in Chex Mix. <laughs> Can we do only uranium? Like, just do a pot of uranium? Do we just keep doing that? Alright. Uh, anything else? Yeah, let's go with red dye number two. 
Red dye number two. Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not That's a some hard. possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. <laughs> All right. Good lord. It's lard. That's right. So now the press the, the oven button. Well said, Max. Take the lard out of that, or take the lard out of lard ass. All you're left with is ass. Okay. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right, you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. Yeah. And with the magic of TV cooking show time. Ta-da! You've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. Oh boy, <laughs> let's take it with us! Do we have that in our inventory now? No, we actually do. Made a oh, casserole. Okay. All right. Huh. All right, let's leave this place. Get back here, you little bastard. <laughs> I guess there's only that one door. Yeah. Hmm. Game yeah, let's show. go. Game show? What? That wasn't game show before. Who's never going to be a millionaire? Dang. Ugh. Look, Max, there's the door to my reset. Let's get in there and liberate the hey. captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, you Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Why? The stage magician turned happiness guru. We didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Because I do. Oh, boy. It's show Hugh us, Bliss. show us a magic trick. Show us a magic trick. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, mo. Bird sienna. Uh, how about a color I've heard of? Hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Green. Green. green? Yeah. Green. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. Ah, I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? That's a lot more creepy than I thought. <laughs> okay, let's take a picture of him while he's green. That's Hugh Bliss. Say, Hugh Bliss. Can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea! It's like I was text is green to you. <laughs> and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather. He just made a camera. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate covered puppies. So where's the picture, magic man? I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> Interesting. Um, what are you doing here? So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident doubting Thomas of this crime fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. Think of something, anything. The number. 
the number. 6373411198.98 even. 6,373,411.98. Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? <laughs> Think of something else. Alright, enough of this ridiculous farce. Enough of this ridiculous farce! Of course. <laughs> do me, do me! Oh, oh my! That's unspeakably <laughs> depraved! Yeah, you got it! Wow, you're amazing. Alright. Why do you want to see Myra? What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the ten word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. Ten words. Oh my. How about prismatology is the answer? Unicorns are pretty and rainbows too. That's ten. That's ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Again. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the car. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. They still love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This guy. Let's play candidate. There's the door to the Myra show. Yeah, I know we're going to play candidate. Walk up to it, there we go. Who's never going to be a millionaire? Good old WARP, where no horse is so dead they can't beat it a few more times. But if you go to the left pole? Ah! We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! Magic. Somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP is who's never going to be a millionaire. Special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our Dang. first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please yes. welcome Sam and Max. Listen, Sam, they love us. Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire. Hmm. That's easy. Start loading the armored cars, Hugh, because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one. If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? <coughs> wow. Trying to figure out if there's some kind of word joke in there. Um, no hope. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not sure, but I'll say balls. That's not really a valid answer. You lose! This is an outrage. I demand a recount. We do have a fabulous consolation prize, a copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay! Find out 
out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. Uh, was there anywhere else to go? Outside of forward? Director's chair. Like, uh, is, door. wasn't there another door in the previous room? Oh wait, there. Can we grab the questions? Which I'm not. Game show questions. Can we rip those? W A R P can't afford armed guards for their game show questions. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get your pretty long ears in a twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. In life, there are no answers, only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that in a cereal box. I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're seriously <laughs> deficient, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what can we do with those questions? Okay, um, I, just, just to make sure, can we not go back? Like, back, back? Because I thought the, the, the door that led us here would lead us somewhere else. No, when, when we were on this show, I think this is the door that Beckett came into. Yeah. But where did we come into? Uh... Ah, wait, no. no. We come from the fucking nice. Mm. Sweet little Easter egg there. Mm hmm. No, but you know about it, what I mean, right? Like, where did yeah. we come from initially? Or do we just not ever go back there? Oh, where did the chicken come from? Let's, let's check that out. I don't think we've been there came yet, right? from here. Right now, that's a game show door. And... Okay, what's the other door? That was the this... game show door. And what? Okay, what's the door on the very left then? Embarrassing idol. Yeah, I don't know if we go back to that introductory area. All right, I guess we don't. Maybe we found another show. Oh, oh no. God. A judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing <laughs> Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Dang. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! Oh? What did he put there? Apple crate. His lyrics. Oh. Can Come we on. grab those? Both? Mug. Is that your mug? No, it was here when I got here. Last week. Ew. Oh. Lyrics. Mm -hmm. Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? 
very impressive. All right, so we stole his song lyrics. Wait, those those were all questions, right? Can we? Um, can we exchange those for the who wants to be a millionaire questions? Ah, how do I go places? What happens if we start the game show? We've got another contestant! Hit it! Welcome back! Our next contestants are these guys again! Okay, are you ready? Hmm. The question is. Am I blue? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, that's that's it. No. no, Hugh, you're not blue. Oh dear! Oh me! Oh my! That's absolutely right! Yes. Congratulations! Got that high pitch. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have hmm. to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, three, mm -hmm. one hundred seventy-four, one hundred seventy-five, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Okay. Um. All right. A million food stamps. God, what do we do with that? Um. Let. Okay, we've done something in every show now, so I guess we can nice, just please. <laughs> Let's just go to Opera. It's oh God. to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself. Yourself. Release the hostages. How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests! You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today! Oh, boo-hoo! My audience all got luxury minivans! Now they have to worry about where they're going to park! Ah! I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound, think of it as a transfusion opportunity! <laughs> Can terrible. we come in? Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, uh. capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Um... Can we be guests on your show? Here is guests on your show. I excel at talking about myself. Are you famous? Perhaps yes. In an internet petition, or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not good enough. 
I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. We have evidence. I want to see a copy of your recording contract, for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording contract and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course! What kind of show do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, it's very <laughs> simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? We have a clip of our sitcom. As it happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Well, I'm certainly impressed with how far standards for entertainment have fallen in this country. Um, thanks? But <laughs> you're also going to need a recording contract and a nice juicy scandal to be a guest on my show. Huh. All right. Uh Okay, I guess we need stuff. We'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? <laughs> hmm. Can we talk to the producer? I feel like she'd be the kind of person to give us a recording contract. Ah. Sorry. Uh. Uh. See, mm, you, see you later. Show. Right. See you later. That's a wrap. Out of the way. Talk to director here. See if that makes a difference. Oh. Hello again. Hi. Okay. Hello again. Mm. Hi. Out of here. I I'd kind of like to go uh, back to the huh? store. See what I can do with these food stems. But I am just holding down the button. <laughs> kind of near the door and yeah doesn't like to go between the chairs oh, oh no there like we go doesn't like corners of inflatable furniture I'm assuming inflatable furniture just from how shiny they are uh, where else can we Shh. Can we buy something with food stands? Not... Oh, oh, is that an exit? Uh, ooh, ah. Oh, the fuck back over here. Yes, an exit. Ah, yes, okay. I want to go back to the store. I feel it's just going to take us right in front of the office because we don't have anywhere else to travel to. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Into the store. Ta -da. Ah. I legit clicked on that fucking door. <laughs> I do believe you. That makes me <laughs> feel better about it. I have I have a video live stream to prove it. Mm -hmm. TV from in there. I've got monitors you don't even know about. Oh. Can we hand him the food stamps? Hello, sir. What ho, old bees? We want to buy something. Yeah, we want to buy something. We want to buy something. Mm, yes, mm, uh, quite so, quite so. 
Do you have any? Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? No. Do you have any fine leather jackets? No. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? No. Do you have any plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? No. Mm -hmm. Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? No. That would be a cool Pez dispenser. Uh huh. Do you have any ketchup? No. Oh, oh wait. Got you. Blast. Drat. Dash it all. Oh, well, what do Give you us what you the got? voice manipulator. What the hell? Is he? I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. What's behind the counter? What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? It's the latest in Bosco tech innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical based voice modulator. Mm. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecule. Very useful. Very voice molecules. <laughs> Goes the voice modulator. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps! I suppose I must accept them. Oh, the Dutch government conspiracy. It's Hogwarts! Complete cod swallow! Here then is your chemical based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works. <laughs> trust me, trust me. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped up 78 speed turntable. It works. Thanks, Bosco. Okay. I'm not right. quite sure what that's going to be useful for, but I'm happy. That's, um. He's squeaky voice now. Is he permanently squeaky, or do we have to refresh that? We have to refresh it. Oh, okay. What do you think of Bosco's accent? Please, even Hugh Grant has a better British accent than Bosco. All right. Let's do some shopping. Great. Uh, speaking of shopping, uh, I'd probably like to check out psychology lady too. Mustard and purple stuff, as vaguely referred to on TV. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. Sorry, what now? Uh, psychology lady. Haven't checked her out yet. Yeah. I was asking Sam, but yeah. Ah, okay. Oh. Ah, yeah. uh, that's the alien love triangle. Okay. So she's no longer a psychologist? Wait, is she? Let's talk to her. Sam, Max, how nice to see you. I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Oh my god, we do! We do! <laughs> Yes. 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 By which I mean. It's my new career. I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news. Okay, that was not my thought when I picked the color green. What's it called? I like where the skill. Alien Love Triangle Times. But what's that about the photo? What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it. <laughs> uh, okay. Give, give her the photo. Oh. 
will be back. Keep that's just so oddly specific, man. Like, as if alien weren't specific enough. Just like aliens in a love triangle. Uh huh. It's yeah. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. So I guess this is all trauma? Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print Just the paper. Article about us? Bam. Sam and Max. Okay, Shocker. Yeah. Alright, do we have that? Oh, wait, no, at the newsstand. So we go to the newsstand. Makes sense. Mm hmm. Could have at least gifted us a copy. I know, right, man? She put little green things on the fox's ears. I noticed that. Piercings, tattoos, psychotherapy, tablet. I, I wonder what's going to be in the next episode because that sign's clearly full. <laughs> Alright, uh, there we go. Click the love triangle. Famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin. <laughs> begin hmm. misbehaving. All right. Um. Let's go back to the studios. We got our drama. I just need the contract, and I feel like we're probably just going to get that in the studio or something. Where are we going, Sid? The TV studio. Goody. I'm not really sure what this warp drive option is. I may need to look this up online. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. It's back on the embarrassing idol set. Is she on the set? Hi. Yeah. Talk to her. Hi. 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 Um. Hmm. No, that's all not what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's just say that first option. What's it like working with the soda poppers? Oh, the usual. They prance around to make unreasonable demands, but they knuckle under because they're desperate to be working at all. Same as the rest of us, really. Your bleak outlook is oddly refreshing. You got this stage set up awfully fast. You must have an army of minions to do your bidding. No, it's pretty much just me. I used to have a stagehand, but she went to watch the Myra show. All the more impressive then. Sawing the hole in the floor was the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'll talk to you later. What can you tell me about the show you're shooting here? Embarrassing Idol, standard drill, amateur singers with delusions of ability perform in front of a camera. Judges heckle them, and the public gets sick pleasure out of watching the carnage. Can I sing on the show? Oh, yeah. That... Can I be a contestant? I often sing in the shower, and hardly anyone complains. Sure, we're pretty desperate for contestants at the moment. We had more, but they went in to watch the Myra show, and we never saw them again. Highly suspicious. All right. Oh, maybe that's where I get the contract. All right, that seems good. What allegedly valuable prize is bestowed on the lucky winner? The winner gets a standard exploitation recording contract yep. with mm -hmm. a major label. Okay. If you're going to be exploited, be exploited by the best. Not sure why right. he had the point during that line. Just to make a... <laughs> it's like that make scene in Wonder Woman 1984. Pedro Pascal <sighs> just whips around his points for no reason. Are those like, movies any good? No. Uh, I, no? Not, like, not even for, like, brainless entertainment value? Like, the first one I heard was really good. And uh -huh. the second one has a... has really troubling implications if you stop and think about what's going on for more than five seconds. Well, asking again, what about, like, if I shut my brain off? I just want to watch, like, a movie for fun. I'd still recommend the first one. Alright. 
again, little, little uneasy about implications in the second one. It, what a, what a, what a hit me in a direction where those implications are going. I mean, I could boil it down. Yeah, boil it down. I mean, after that, I'm probably not going to watch it anymore. <laughs> again, if you think about it for more than five seconds, <laughs> mm -hmm. they portray Wonder Woman as a rapist. Let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> one, of, one of the things that happens in the second movie is um, Chris Pine's character comes mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. Spoilers, he dies in the first one. Yeah, I was wondering about that. But uh, anyways. But he comes back in the second one, but it's like just his consciousness coming back in someone else's body who's completely like unwilling to go on adventures and do anything. He's just like some random uh, guy that's not even named in the credits. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I see, I see where it's And it's going. like... Yeah, that's that's a difficult implication, I see mm -hmm. that. It's like, uh, that's... Uh, yeah. And that was like mm -hmm. the very first thing I heard about the movie, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I can't really look past that because here's yeah. the, here's the thing if the genders were flipped that shit would never get made because then you're implying that <sighs> that you know rape that way is okay and it's mm. not okay either way so uh, yeah yeah that's, that's rough troubling implications but if you just don't worry about 1984 mm -hmm. and you just watch like the first one and Aquaman and Batman versus Superman and Justice League and all that, then you know it's, it's whatever. I'm not I like just... the biggest fan of the DC movies just because it's almost always been a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. It's like Oh, some of this stuff is really cool, but everything else is just kind of meh. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, if we're all being honest with each other, <laughs> DC has put far more time and effort into fucking Batman than any of their other properties, and it shows. Mm -hmm. If you've ever seen a picture of the quote-unquote Bat family... <laughs> You could run an entire comic book company just off of that. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> Alright. Meanwhile, there's a Green Lantern that's a fucking planet, and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> still salty about the fact that everybody hates the Green Lantern movie, and I actually really liked it. Yeah, it was, it was a fun watch. I liked how they, um... I, I was a big fan of the Deadpool 2 post credit scene. <laughs> where they referenced that. Right. That was, that was fun. I think Ryan Reynolds actually did a, um... He did a watch-along of the Green Lantern movie. Like, he was tweeting about stuff as he was watching the movie and drinking mm -hmm. his own gin. <laughs> and, you know, he was just saying a bunch of nice stuff, you know? There was a whole mm -hmm. bunch of really good actors on that cast. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what people were expecting from the special effects. It's green fucking lantern. It's hard yeah. light constructs. Yeah. It's shit that's supposed to look kind of out there and not grounded in mm -hmm. reality. Yeah. Kind of the entire premise, but... <sighs> Either way. Alright. Uh, we were gonna sing. That seems clear. Thank goodness. Uh, with the helium, of course. Helium. Well, I'm sure you're very busy. You got that right. Here, off the acid pit, it's been precariously nailed. Yep. 
flank has been precariously nailed here. All right, like helium into microphone. Modulator. Or on Sam. Then microphone. Testing one, two, three. A microphone. Talk to a microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Suddenly banjo. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. Uh. Um. Busted down hound dog blues, or busted down hound dog blues. Uh, last has one, a definitely the last one. Bottleneck of just like someone else's song, only somehow better. Yes. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <clears throat> I am in terrible torment. I'm unbelievably oh God, happy. Rex. I am cryptic and therefore deep. I am more successful than you. I'm more successful than you. Boom. Chomping on a crunchy silver spoon. <clears throat> Apparently we broke his glasses, but, you know, the Wii version, so <laughs> kind of potato-y. I'm girl cooler is and chipper than you will ever be. Yep. Playing cocktail angst on my pursuit. And it, the helium already wore off, but we got that high note in, which is what he likes. So, mm. pity me, admire me. I'll say anything just to make it rhyme. Let me remind you that I write songs. I'll say anything just to make it rhyme. Blowing like a zephyr on a deal. And let's hear from our judges. Oh, your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. You really nailed that high note. Whoa. And you're less sloppy than my brother. You got my vote. Hey! You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peeper's is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh. Right. Remember, so. So how do we convince Robert Jura number three? Again, if you want to, by the way, could improve your chances. Hmm. Can we talk to Jura number three? Don't you ever watch the show? Is it? What have you been up to? What do you look for in a singer? What do you look for in a singer? What do judges get? Tell me, old judge, what gruesome qualities do you look for in a singing performance? Fraternity! I'm voting for Peepers no matter what! He's my brother! The one who didn't forget my birthday today, I might add! I said I was sorry! Dang. Happy mm. birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thanks! I'm glad somebody remembered. I said I was sorry. What more do you want? A treat would be nice. Isn't this also St. Boniface Day? Patron saint of carnivorous plants and spiky things? I think that's next week. Alright, so he's uh -huh. voting for his brother no matter what, and it's his birthday today. And he's so... mad that his brother forgot that it was his birthday. And he would like a treat. I'm thinking of baking a cake in the cooking show. Enjoy your judging. Catch you later. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright. So let's go to the cooking show. Which... No way. This place is a fucking labyrinth. Mm-hmm. Labyrinth of rooms that only have one ac entrance and one exit. Oh, that's not true for this room. Yeah, you're right. There's this bricked up window. Uh, it's the game show. No, no, I <laughs> walked away from it. No, no, no. I have to walk back in.
Alright. Here. Let's make a cake. Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you, and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? A cake. A cake. Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot. Flavoring yeah. pail? Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Alright. Let's get some squid tentacles. A fistful of squid tentacles. Woo! That's my favorite western. I don't think this actually matters. Let's just put it in there. Sulfuric acid. You want to use the sulfuric acid sparingly. It can easily overwhelm the other ingredients. And your taste buds and your esophagus. That's oh cheap. no, not my esophagus. ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. Asbestos. Of course, who can forget the asbestos sprinkles? This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it too. You'll want to crush up some dried dingo kidneys. Oh. Bachelors, you know you have them. Look under the sofa cushions. Yeah. There, there's a typo there. It's that's a K in the pop-up text. I'm pretty sure, but it's a G. Ah, it's a dingo. Okay. It makes so much more sense than yeah. them just making up an animal. A dash of pink mink oil is a must. Nothing says I last ate real food in the '80s like the inclusion of something pink. I last ate a real food in the '80s. No, I ate it while you were looking at the ingredients. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time. Mm -hmm. Yo, Nickelodeon cake. Ready Sweet. To binge upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. All right. Let's go back to the jury and give him a cake. Hello. Thank you. Or let's go to the game show. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Mm-hmm. You see? Labyrinth. Intersections are hard. Yeah. Doesn't help that I spent most of last night wandering through twisting caves and Minecraft adventure map either, but... It's my own damn fault. Mr. Wizard. Some cake? Mm hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. We need to do something else to this cake. I okay. Get what? Well, what happens if we just give it to him? How about some cake? Cake? Oh boy! Perfect for my birthday! There's no tomatoes in it, right? Nope. Um... Ah, <laughs> uh, that was delicious! And a little bit scary. You eat like Max. All right, so now he's covered okay. in green. It was weird that he was asking if there were any tomatoes in the cake. Uh, do we have any way to make a uh, tomato-flavored cake? All right, I, I would like to make a new cake. I'd like to make tomato cake. Oh. I mean, I guess it would be like carrot cake. Just 
just would t no. We no. just put like a bottle no, of ketchup sounds over it. Fucking stupid in my head as soon as I tried to think about it beyond just saying it. <laughs> just, let's just make normal cake and pour some ketchup over it. No one will notice. Shush, shush, shush. <laughs> Thank you, and welcome to the show. There were no tomato ingredients in there, right? Oh no, there's there's no natural ingredients here whatsoever. Of course, right. I mean, there's processed stuff. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavor ah. to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a flavor <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna need some tweed. Of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip. Tweed isn't just for cooking. It also makes a great toupee. Terrifying. Can we say enough about roofing tile shards? Obviously we can. And some monk paste. Every meal has to include some of the standards, like monk paste. Don't forget that saying. Monk paste for the taste. Hope best for the zest. That's gorgeous. Of course, you're going to want a few dashes of hair gel. Don't worry, bachelors. As long as you use it only for cooking, no one will think you less of a man. Right. Look okay. it. Now do we boil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show. The magic of TV cooking. Just delicious cake. Ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Did, um, Bosco have anything... With tomatoes? With the... Mean, he had the standard uh, standard condiments. And mustard and purple stuff. Pretty sure ketchup was there. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go and grab some ketchup and... Did I exit this way? Please? No. <laughs> go on the world tour here. Yeah. <sighs> I believe in you not entering the game show. Oh, Sam. He was thinking about it. Good job. <laughs> Couldn't get between cow and yellow couch. Mm hmm. Double click. Let's get some ketchup at Bosco's. <laughs> wow, that was way after the fact. Mm -hmm. Ran well the hell by him, then threw his hand up. Who goes there? Oh, it's you, Lock. Is that ketchup? Condiments. Cake. Nachos. Nacho cake. Doesn't sound like the worst thing you do, right? Ah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting shivers from that. Alright, let's, let's go. Yeah, I mean. Ugh. Uh. Uh. Just go. Mm hmm. Get that thing out of our inventory. God, that <laughs> loading time, man. And I'm almost positive that it's only the Wii version. It's like this. Oh, yeah, for sure. Where are we going, Sam? The 
TV studio. Goody! But, you know, that's the charm of this version of the game. Because it's a lot clunkier than every other version. Right. I still think it's funny that Season 1, this collection of six chapters, mm -hmm. is available as free DLC if you get the second Sam and Max adventure game. Does the second season that much better? To get, like, the entire first one for free? No. Huh. Weird. Like, uh. I'd almost be willing to buy it just for the free DLC, so mm -hmm. I can play this with a mouse. Right. And not on my TV, but on my big monitor. Wait. Wait, don't we want to give the cake to the guy? Thought we were going to keep it in our inventory forever. No. I that's what we talked that. about on the drive here. <laughs> hey, that's what you talked about on the drive here. Catch up. Oh boy. Are you sure that it's not too late in there? Happy birthday. Oh boy! Birthday cake! That's uh, tasty! Oh. Uh, just fucking face first. Oh, God. What? What the? Darn it! He'd better not be going to see Myra. Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me! Well, let's do the same thing with the helium. Same voice lines. Just always the last one. Uh, that worked. Um, voice. Inhale my voice. Testing. One, two, three. Microphone. Um. Testing. One, two, three. I'm gonna three. accidentally kill him if I can't. Oh. He's inhaled so much helium. Do a little song I call Craving for Undeserved Fame and Fortune. Uh, that was a different song title last time. That's yeah. right. I am more successful than you. Chomping on a crunchy silver spoon. Broke his glasses again. <laughs> Thinking about the rings on the great racket. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. And let's hear from our judges. Judges. I admire your courage even more than your singing. You've still got my vote. Thanks, little buddy. You really nailed that high note. Whoa. And you're less sloppy than my brother. You've got my vote. Ooh. All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. Now, no. Alright. records. Let's go back to Oprah. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. What? Rushmore? What? I better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. Everybody and everyone just left. Just left. Yeah. All at once. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> What's really getting me about this is that it's not like, if it were just one long consistent loading screen, it'd be alright. But it's like, 
camera pans over, freezes for five seconds. And you got like three seconds of this black loading screen with Max. Then mm -hmm. the, ga the game's frozen again for two seconds, and then you can start playing. You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourself. Uh, how do we get on your show again? Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show. Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. What if we have our own video game? Video game? Mm. Ugh, those things will ruin your eyes. They're awful. Not if you don't use your eyes. Also, not if you already have ruined eyes before starting to play video games. Mm. So I'm 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 good in two ways. Hooray. <laughs> we do have a recording contract. In bottom records. Take a look. You should have us on as guests. I like my guests to be celebrities audiences are talking about. Have you been embroiled in any juicy scandals lately? Yes, we had a, a, a interesting freeway with a an alien. Come back when the media is talking about you. And don't forget to watch behind your ears first. I have a tabloid. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? You'll have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only so I could talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Yay! Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about mm -hmm. while you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking, and you treat the audience with the utmost respect, even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Got all right. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. <laughs> Moo. Mm. Give her a hand, everyone. Betsy Bovine reading from her new book, The Heart Has Four Stomachs, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood, out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Ooh, it's us. Hold me right, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinking, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. Uh-huh. My guest sit at that end. But that bear has got you. Sit. We'll just sit where you sit. Can, Sam. <laughs> what gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. We're gonna have to play along. Sam and Max, your talented hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. Uh-huh. And we can talk about the times, talk about the TV show, talk about singing, and the bear. Talk about the bear? I'd like to talk about that charming yet mildly insidious looking bear on your desk. Can I see it? I don't know, Sam. Can you? <laughs> may I see it, please? No, you may not. And if I may say so... If there's one thing that grills my chicken, it's how our culture is in a state of modal decay. Can is not the same as may. Should is not the same as blah, blah, blah. Yuck, blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. Hopefully she'll be off on her tri-state nagging spree for a while. Blah, 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 blah. Yuck, 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 yuck. Can we shoot the bear? Yuckity, 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 yuck, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. 
Yeah. Put that away right now. Nope. Hmm. Can we just grab the bear then? Humanity's not safe while that mysterious little hypno bear is on the loose. Are we part of humanity, Sam? Not technically, but we're in danger too. Uh, laws of physics. Can we show talk physics. to her again? <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Uh, I, 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 the, the idol glory thing? I'd like to sing a song from my upcoming album, Feathers and Furious Scribbling. I'm almost certain the audience might probably enjoy that. Howling at that drippy old She's at brunch today with some baboon. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. Thank you, Sam, for putting the numb back. What a Damn wonderful it. way to remind our audience that you don't have to be talented to be famous. And a perfect segue into my latest tirade about the lamentable state of modern popular music. I mean, blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, yak, yak, yak. Um, what if we, can we use the helium now? Okay, I'm still the banjo. Yeah. On my mouth. What if we use the banjo now? I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? How will I let that trippy old hunk of Broke a glass. Whoa, careful there, tiger. That was wonderful. I'm so moved, I almost don't have a long hectoring screen in me. Oh no, wait, there it is. Thank goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Do we do we now shoot the bear? It's gonna yell at us to put it away. Right. Put that away right now. Um. Uh, all right, we broke the glass. Um. There's what? Ah, that's that's. Pablo, Pablo. Right. What, what else do we have in our inventory? Intro questions, shaving cream, onion gun, bullet gun, helium gun. Uh, let's talk to her again. Ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Yes, I guess let's talk about the picture. There's something you should know about that picture in the Times. I'm not sure I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. But hey, speak for yourself, lady. Quite what it seems. How so? It's no alien, it's you, Bliss. That's not us. There was someone else involved. I like that one. I'd like to talk about me. I'd like to talk about myself. I'd like to talk no, about no. you. No, no. Someone else involved. Someone else involved. It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. Dang. Not sure why they're so mad. Shocking. Yeah. Who? Kyle Pennyworth, one of the Sody Poppers, Bessie the Cow. I'd like to talk about me. <laughs> I feel like the most scandalous one would be Bessie the Cow. So let's go with that. Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboy. Why are you guys so mad? Oh, oh my audience, shall we bring her back out again? Black. 
Okay. The risk of making the obvious comment. That was shocking. Is she breathing? A little. But I did not think that was obvious. Nuts. I wanted to ask it a few questions and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another that, that was not at all on purpose. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. <laughs> Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Bread logs make me low Let's head back to the cooking show set and see if we can the, the, make bright pork rolls. The tank mafia? Toy mafia. Ah, the toy mafia. Gigi? Oh, we did it. GG. And that is our little hint for next time. Yeah. So we've taken down a uh, hypnosis plot with a bunch of former child stars. Mm -hmm. We became television celebrities. Yeah. Next week, we're taking on the mob. Taking on the toy mafia. Well, oh, right. Oh, so, how did you like meeting Hugh Bliss? Uh. <laughs> Not the, you know, in, in all the point and click games we've had, we have many, we had many annoying characters. This this character was annoying in a charming way. I'll I'll give him that. That was a character I wasn't mad about. Right. We did see a um, when we watched the TV in the first game, mm -hmm. and it was. The book about throwing up rainbows. Mm. That's Hugh Bliss's book. Ah, right. <sighs> yes, quit. <clears throat> so, what were your thoughts on, like, all the uh, the puzzles and and just uh? Situation comedy as a chapter. Well, well, situation comedy was good. Um, different, uh, definitely different focus than last time. I, I felt like last time was more of this cartoonish style, um, cartoonish style, like violence, mm -hmm. focus, humor. Yeah. Whereas this one felt like almost like, mm, how do I phrase that? Like a stand-up comedy pitch focused around actors. Yeah. A lot of... A lot of acting and Hollywood jokes. Mm-hmm. Television references. Yeah. And, um... I don't know, I felt like... Um, like that last puzzle I didn't get. That, that was oh well, we I, I guess ultimately we did it quickly but mm -hmm. it wasn't in any way cleared uh, I, I guess it was communicated poorly like especially the thing with the glass because of the way they did it with the glasses of the of one of the brothers where you yeah. like heard the crack but it was like nowhere visible um, it was, I didn't, like, it was a it didn't, really, really bad texture, but it yeah. didn't it didn't change from the unbroken glasses to the bad broken texture so that you could see it. it right. As soon as the camera cuts to him, mm -hmm. his and glasses like, are already broken, and you just hear the sound effect. And like the fact that it didn't immediately felt feel suggested like oh there's glass I know I can break glass. And honestly, that with the cow was an accident because <laughs> I did not like just this very subtle thing of moving the microphone over. Something I absolutely have not noticed when we 
moved over from Cal being on stage to us being on stage mm -hmm. and thus electrocuting the bear. I, I felt like I could have gotten stuck there a lot longer. Um, like the one thing she says is just that the microphone is starting to spark from overuse. Yeah, and I heard that and I forgot about it like 10 seconds later. Um, and I felt the cooking thing was out of place somehow. I thought like a long time ago when I was finding out about these games for the first time back in, you know, 2008, 2009, whatever. I thought there was like some kind of specific recipe that you had to mm -hmm. follow or like a right. certain number of ingredients. Mm -hmm. No, no, you just have to select that you're making a cake and put like one thing in, I think. I, I guess the... I haven't and just it, tried it, baking an empty pan. I guess, I guess the one thing... <laughs> I, 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 all right, I'll say this. I like I liked it, but I think this game doesn't work as well in the context of the first game. Because the first game was a lot more specific about what it wanted you to do. And the one thing I'm specifically thinking about is the thing with the psychoanalysis, where you have like a, a long mm. catalog of things... Where you had to do, where you had to like have very specific answers, yeah. And like here, there were multiple occasions where you had all these different options, like what what you were singing or uh, what you were throwing into the cooking pot, and it didn't make any difference, you know. Like yeah. all this time, you kind of feel like, okay, there's something I'm missing here, and then it just turns out it doesn't matter. Just like. I feel like sometimes the game doesn't draw a clear border between okay, what's just here for comedy purposes, and what's actually here for like you get progress here. Yeah, I think they definitely blurred that line with this one. Is mm -hmm. a lot of it was just like you were saying jokes, but it's not which joke you tell. It's the fact that you didn't just press B and back out of the dialogue. Right. Like, all you have to do is just select one of these choices that isn't end the dialogue. <laughs> right. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for Game 3. Title of Game 3, what? Wow. Is The Mole, The Mob, and The Meatball. Mmm. -hmm. Curious. Very good.